What's happening on YouTube? In today's video, we're shooting street photography at night in the rain. And if you like these point of view style videos where I show you my street photography process, then hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos at least once a week. And tonight I'm shooting with the X-T2 and the Fuji 35mm f2, partly because it's my favourite street photography lens right now, and also partly because it's weather resistant, so... All right, so let's just jump straight into this GoPro footage. And before I even got out of the car, I shot this photo here. It was just, it's, it's a totally basic shot and didn't mean anything at the time, but it would mean something a bit more significant later on because it becomes part of the photo set. And then getting out of the car, walking down the street a little bit, just kind of getting my camera settings ready. I take this shot of the city. I thought maybe it'd be a good sort of scene setting shot making my way over towards Chinatown now. I was actually a little bit outside of Chinatown where I parked because that's where I could find free parking. And just as I'm walking into Chinatown, one of the first things I see is this window right here and there's a person behind this lit up cabinet. It's kind of silhouetted. I don't like that his head is cut off by the shadow. I would have liked that he was entirely contained in there. And along that same street, this woman came out of this alleyway. I wish I had been 30 seconds earlier because the alleyway was really cool, it had like a green light inside it and then the woman did not go back down the alleyway which was kind of upsetting and I ended up standing waiting here for a while to see if she would maybe go through the shop and then back out of there with more trash but she did not so I ended up just giving up and moving on and then I missed this shot here, you'll see this purple light shining across the street here that's some probably some good like silhouette opportunities or something like that and then this guy walks past me with an umbrella, just taking like a random warm up shot here. I don't like this shot, there's too much going on in the frame. Uh, I see these people inside the shop window. I started getting drawn more to shop windows because they would have sort of steam on them or something like that, or they were just lit up inside, obviously. I uh, don't like this. And actually around the corner, I got this one, which I like a little bit more. Um, still something bothers me about it. It's a slightly better step in the kind of direction that I want to go. And now I'm just starting to look in through all the store windows to see if I can see into the kitchens. I see the chef working away here and this one is not that great either. And then actually in the same store just slightly further on I look through this window as well. Uh, still not quite getting what I want but I, I like these as a sort of idea and this is just something that I'm going to keep pursuing is shooting through all these windows. I also see this bar, the guy just sort of sitting at the other side there. Not too bad, actually I don't like it either. <laughs> and coming up to one of the first photos that I really liked of the night is this sort of red lit window. And I thought I'll just stand here until someone with an umbrella walks through. I can see a person down the street and I'm just hoping that they keep walking past me. So I just point my camera that direction and wait and then take the shot when it gets there. And we've got a nice silhouette of this person. I wish I'd pulled the focus back just a little bit so that they were the one in focus and not the window. But uh, this, this I do like. Maybe I would have framed it a little bit different if I could do it again. This is really close to the exact type of photo that I would have liked to make. Now I find another store window. They've got like ducks hanging in the window. There's not a lot of steam on this one, so there's a little bit less interest and nothing really happened in the background, so I just kind of moved on. Then coming along here, I see this family trying to load into this car. This woman's holding an umbrella, that's what I saw. But when I actually took the picture, it was like granddad and the little kid is looking over his shoulder right at me. And then as I'm walking on, there's another window with the kitchen on the other side and a guy like chopping up some duck or something like that. So it took a couple shots here. And this one, I don't really love it. It's kind of cool, like I, I like the lighting, but it's not really the kind of abstract sort of storytelling shot that I would look for. There's another one here, this blue light. I'm looking at the other side of the street, but that blue light might have been interesting if someone had walked past with an umbrella. It could have been another kind of cool silhouette photo or just like a really weird lighting photo. Then I start trying just shooting from the hip. This person with an enormous umbrella walking past here but it does not work. I've, my camera is at the wrong setting completely. So I'll learn from that mistake. Don't learn quick enough because I get these two girls who are dressed almost the same and uh, it does not work either. They're totally out of focus and there's no light on them. Shooting through this window here, there's weird purple light inside this store so I made it black and white. I see what I was trying to do with this photo, but I don't love how it came out. And then this guy walking in that store could have been a nice shot, could have been something interesting, but I kept missing that. It was always happening when I was too far away. 
and then it has more ducts in the window and I started shooting it and I got a shot that had the, just the ducts in focus at first but then I noticed there was a person sort of through the middle so I refocused or tried to refocus and get a shot of her framed by the ducts um, but I hit focus behind her again so that was kind of annoying. Further down the street here there's a couple walking like underneath their jacket down this alleyway. They were kind of far away, I didn't really go any closer to them and uh, shot didn't turn out as well as I'd have hoped. I found another window, I was looking for ones that were more like steamed up windows because it was kind of a cold night but um, there wasn't enough steam or dirt on this window to make it really interesting. I walked slightly to the edge of Chinatown and I was just going around the block so I kind of hit this residential area. There was this woman walking towards me with her umbrella up and this was a very basic shot. This is the kind of shot you take when you first start shooting street photography and it just doesn't really work at all. There's too much going on in the frame for a start. As she gets closer I start doing the shooting from the hip thing again and while I get her in focus, or got the umbrella in focus at least, I think there's still too much going on in the frame. The light's a bit better on her. I like that the umbrella is cutting off at the eye, but there's just maybe just too much distractions at the at the right hand side of the frame. But yeah, not what I'm looking for, but um, better than the first one. Now across the street, there's this light panel and I can see a person walking towards it with an umbrella and I try running across to see if I can silhouette them against it. And of all the shots that I fired off, this was the best of that bunch. I kind of like that there's a sort of graphic nature about it. It's maybe a little bit too contrasty for me even. Just across the street, actually, this woman was walking past this window and she kind of looks in and I get another silhouette photo, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. There's not enough light in the background. And here I'm hanging outside this store and getting my camera settings right to shoot in through this open door to this kitchen. And just as I get there, this guy like looks round at me and I get this shot where I just blocked his eyes off, which I quite like because I don't necessarily really want to have identifying pictures of people. I like that sort of gap where you don't really see people's face. And here I noticed this store with like super steamed up windows and ducks and stuff happening. Like there's a chef cutting things up or packing meals. So I shoot through the initial door and then into the next window, focusing on the ducks so the chef is actually slightly out of focus. And I get this shot here, which is not bad. I like that he's sort of looking from the left across to the right of the frame. And I like the lines in this picture and all the sort of texture of the steam and the drops of water in the window. And then I adjust myself slightly and block more of the frame to frame him a little more. And as he looks away, I get this shot. I like that he looked away because there's still an action kind of happening there, but he's not a really recognizable person in this frame. Uh, we've still got the steam on the windows and the duck there, so you can tell it's a kitchen. I just kind of kind of like this frame. It's, it's, it's not too bad. This is where I found one of my favorite photos or probably my absolute favorite photo of the night. I've tried to photograph at this grocery market before and there's always people milling around behind this sort of screen. So as I'm walking across, I just start shooting in case they move. And the first shot I get is this one, it's a kind of wider shot. Two people in the frame, I would rather it was one because then we've got two subjects, I don't like that as much. So I move a little bit closer and keep shooting as I'm moving closer. And then I do a portrait orientation one and I get this shot. And this one I really like. I love that it's just a single person standing silhouetted, obscured by those screens. So there's like texture and dirt in there and you can tell it's a warehouse. And I actually make the mistake of moving off to the side and trying an even closer shot, which would have been better. But what I've ended up doing is cutting off that light that was making them a silhouette. So this shot was a complete mistake. As per usual, I went home thinking that I didn't really get any good photos, but after processing them and sort of looking at them side by side, I got this nice little photo set here. I think the sort of just basic water drops on the window photo with the blurred out lights in the background just kind of gives a sort of feeling of the night. It was dark, it was rainy, kind of obvious. I really liked the way the silhouette one came out with the red lights in the background and the guy with the umbrella. I wish that I'd pulled the focus back a bit so that he was in focus rather than the window but I learned from that 
and I still think that that photo gives more of a feeling of that night. And then accompanied with the sort of silhouette of the guys behind that screen, which I've tried to take pictures of before, but never at night. And I think that as a set of three, they all look pretty cool. They're not particularly about any person. They're more just about the, the, the feeling of that night, kind of abstract kind of pictures. And I tend to gravitate towards more abstract pictures when I'm looking at other people's street photography anyways. So um, for me, that was kind of a, a, a step in the right direction. I think I can do them a lot better than that. And I think the more I go out at night and in the rain, the more I'm gonna be able to refine those pictures and find better versions of them so that I can get the images that I'm actually happy with. And if you're interested in improving your photography and learning from my street photography process, then hit that subscribe button for more videos. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.